I'm going to take two chairs that I found on side of the road and turn them into four different projects. First thing I did was take the chairs apart. I did this with my jigsaw. I just cut everywhere. There was two pieces attached together. I threw away the pieces that were no good and then I grouped all the like pieces together. That way I could really look at what I had to work with and brainstorm about what I wanted to make out of all these pieces. For the seat of the chair, I decided to turn it into a breadboard. So I got one of my breadboards and traced it out onto the seat and then I got my jigsaw to cut it out. Now I figured out very quickly that this was going to be difficult with the jigsaw because the seat was so thick. But actually once I stopped recording and was able to get in a more comfortable position it went much quicker. Next I took a 60 grit sandpaper and sanded down the seat. 60 grit is a very rough sandpaper because I really wanted to round out all the edges and make it look as primitive as possible. I kind of wanted to make the edges look almost hand carved. And then I used one of the spindles and I was gonna make that the handle. So I got a round drill bit and cut out a circle, then put some wood glue and hammered that spindle into there and then secured it with a nail. Some of the spindles reminded me of a handle, so I decided to make a vintage style toolbox and use the spindles as a handle. I used the top of fence boards and left them as is. I cut them about a foot high, and then the sides, I just cut the same length as the spindle. I used wood glue and nails to hold the box together. And then I painted the box white and distressed it and then I attached the handle. I did not paint a handle so it would have a nice two-tone look with the white box and the natural tone handle. With the backs of the chairs I decided to make a ladder. I cut down a piece of 2x4 to make the sides of the ladder. I then painted them white and I was going to leave the back of the chairs natural. Again I was going for that two-tone effect. I made the ladder six feet high since I had five steps to put on it. And then I marked every 12 inches where they should be attached. I used my nail gun to attach the pieces together. I thought the tops of the chairs looked like handles and I had this old door that my neighbor had given to me. So I thought about turning it into a tray I just had to cut down the door so that all the sides were the same size. Again, I'm going with the two-tone look, so I painted the handles white and distressed them slightly. And then the door, I wanted to keep it natural, so I just put the mixture of water and antiquing wax on it just to make everything the same color. And I also did this on the breadboard. I didn't video it, but I did the same antique wax and water mixture. Now I had to figure out how to attach the handles to the door. I pre-drilled holes where I wanted the handles to go. Now you can see I messed up here. I didn't pre-drill a hole in the handle part so it cracked, but I'm gonna fix that with some wood glue, some clamps, and you'll never be able to tell that happened. So the other handle, I pre-drilled a hole and you can see no cracking, came out perfect.
I still have all these pieces of the chairs left to make even more projects another day.